I'm going to show you how to configure Cisco routers for RIP routing. RIP is the router information protocol. It allows you to share routes and be able to find each other. All right. So I have a setup right here. I have the Portland router, Seattle router, and a switch right here. So there are two different networks. There is this network or subnet between the Seattle and Portland router, and then there is this network between, well, off the Portland router that includes the switch. So any device connected to the switch would be in that other network. All right. So first I need to, I have all the interfaces all configured. I just need to turn on routing. So we'll start with the Portland router. Now, as you remember, the Portland router is in two different interfaces. So if I get into this thing right here, I can do show IP route. And this shows me my routing table. It shows me that I'm directly connected with C, directly connected to two different networks right here. They're actually both subnets. All right. Now, uh, I need to configure RIP routing, so I do conf t, and then I type in router RIP. At this point, I need to indicate what the two networks that I'm connected to, or all of the networks I'm connected to. So I find network, and it wants network addresses, not subnet addresses. So I type in 172.16.0.0, and network 192.168.0.0. Those are the two networks that I am part of. At this point, I'm done. I can just exit out, exit out of here, and go to the other router. So, now that I have moved my console cable from one router to the other router, press enter a few times, and I'm on the Seattle router. So I've been enable, I've been show IP route. I can see that I am directly connected to one network, which is the 192.168.0.0 network. So I go into configuration mode, configure T, config T, and then I go into router rip, and I tell the network. So network 192.168.0.0. And I am done. Now, the RIP routing protocol sends information every 30 seconds or so, which could be a long time. It means that my routing information is not going to be instantly there. I won't instantly know how to communicate all the way to the other side. If I type show IP route, apparently it's already there. I can see now that through my fast Ethernet, 01, whichever device is down there, which happens to be the other router, the Portland router, um, I can get to this 172.16.0.1 network. So now let's try pinging an interface on that network. So I type ping 172.16.0.1 and it pings all the way across. I've set it routing. If I go to the other router, the Portland router, it won't be as exciting because it's directly connected to all of his networks. But it could ping everything as well, and it could ping everything before a set of routing. But this way, I have it working all the way across, and RIP routing is now configured and working.